Please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button. Hello, it's Audrey. This is Halo Effect, everything for awesome hair after 50. And today we're gonna make that rose oil. So if you didn't watch the video of my three part method, excuse me, if you didn't watch the video of when I do the massage and the oil I use, this is one of the oils. We'll be making a lot of oils. So there's based on where your hair is and what it needs, you wanna try different oils. So first off, if you watch that video, you know that I had the oil in this little glass container. And the reason why is a couple things. One is you, I don't recommend that you make large batches of anything for your DIY. One, because you're using all natural ingredients and it's gonna potentially go rancid or you know you have to manage the good bacteria. So there's a whole process to doing that or at least being mindful of it. And also, I want you to think in terms of being nimble, you know, checking out your hair, see what's happening. Okay, it's too dry. I need maybe a thicker oil for, for a period of time and then I could switch over to a thinner one. Or maybe I need to use this other oil Audrey recommended because I noticed that I'm having flaky skin or dry. I mean, whatever it is, you are gonna be watching and journaling and kind of navigating yourself through the process. So I don't want you to have a lot of, one is I don't want the ingredients to always be fresh, always be fresh when you do your DIYs. The second is I want you to be able to switch up. So if you have a, a large amount of a product, you're gonna be wasting it because maybe you it didn't really work for you or it worked for a period of time you don't wanna use it anymore. You wanna to switch to something else that you your skin and your hair really need right now. And so if you make a smaller amount, it will be fresher, it'll be great. Um, and you can, you know, switch and vacillate between different products, okay? That's why I do it. Now, the other thing to know is the longer you leave ingredients in the oil, actually the better it gets. So that's a little bit of a difference. So at least try it out. And if you really enjoy the rose oil and you know you're gonna use it consistently on your face and your, you know, your neck and your scalp and all of it, then great, then you can make more of it, <clears throat> excuse me. But this gives you an opportunity, this is what I like to do, to just try it out, to see how it works, and then you can transfer into something else, okay? So this is what we'll be making it. So what you need is a small kind of container that you're gonna use. Uh, I use this vial. And then you're gonna get um, Siberian ginseng, uh, grape seed oil, and this is, uh, uh, I bought this, um, container separately. I just buy organic grapeseed oil and then I put it in here because I like nice containers. And rose buds. So and you can see they're nice. They're just dried rose petals and this is what we're going to be using. Okay. So first thing you want to do is um, you can crush the rose petals but I actually don't recommend it because you ha you're gonna have to strain them because if you crush it and they're a fine powder or they're in little pieces, then when you pour your oil, you're gonna be rubbing in pieces of rose and then you can't really do that every day. I leave the entire bud intact because it doesn't get in my hair. Um, it stays together. It just becomes very, very oily and moisturized um, and it's easy to just squish into this thing. So what I do is I take, uh, a couple of these and when they um, get moisturized you can just kind of navigate them out if you use a small amount like this so I'm going to take a few of these rose petals keeping their bud totally intact right so we've got a few of these then you're going to take the um, a funnel is that what this is called it's called a funnel I take a tiny teaspoon Okay, so about this much, take my little funnel. Ugh. Okay, now I've got my funnel, just drop it in there. So now that's collectively in there. And then, pretty simple, I'm gonna take my grapeseed oil. I'm going to pour this in. You don't need to fill it up. This is completely fine. 
Now, you can see I've got the oil. I'm going to mix it up and now it has sort of a cloudy look. As this continues to just sit here, I'm not going to use it for, you can use it in 24 hours. I mean, you could really use it right away, but it's not going to completely infuse itself with the rose. And so those nutrients aren't going to seep into the oil and interchange. I would wait a few days. So typically I make them and then I put them in a, a few of them um, and I, um, different ingredients hey okay? not the same one a few of them but I'll make a rose one i'll do my chocolate milkshake i have like a lot of them so i'll put that up and then um in a few days i'll start incorporating it into my process the other thing i want to say is there are so many things that you're gonna learn and incorporate that are ingredients that you're gonna be like oh my god i need that and i need that product and i need that ingredient and i need that ingredient i'm also experiencing that the reason why i try to stay with no more than three ingredients in any kind of because like i said if you make a little bit of it you can use it interchangeably maybe monday wednesday i'll use rose and then i'll use something else and i'll use something else right so the reason why is because if this is filled with 17 ingredients how do i know what's actually working but if it's two or three ingredients I know that there was some one of those in there that really started affecting me very positively and I could start to narrow down what my needs are at any given time which is why I'm now in a process where in a stage excuse me I'm now in a stage where whatever I put on my scalp I pretty much can break it down to what's working what's not working and then when did it work how did it work what did it affect and then I start incorporating more of it okay so to just let you know about um, the great thing about Siberian ginseng is that it stimulates the body, the system. So it's wonderful for hair regrowth, hair growth, and hair thinning. So with rose, with the rose infusing in the oil, one of the things is it makes our hair follicles stronger. So it holds the hair more firmly in the root. It also has an antiseptic quality, so it helps manage that good bacteria distinct from bad bacteria. So it really cleans, it helps to keep a tidy hair follicle. So that means we have strong hair follicles, we're gonna produce strong, good hair. It also has vitamin A and antioxidants. If they say if you massage, because obviously we do nape to neck, so we're putting it on our face, and on our skin, they they really bring down, so the more you massage in rose oil, the less and less you're gonna see your wrinkles because your skin pl pumps up, plumps up. It has this glowing quality. Blemishes, marks, wounds, um, anything, scars that you might have, or acne scars, um, because you know that's also one of the things when you get those crazy hormones during menopause where all of a sudden even if you've never had acne before you wind up with acne in your 50s which is just ugh. so rose, rose oil really helps with that it's very hydrating and overall it just enhances the health it enhances the health of your hair grapeseed oil helps with dandruff it really moisturizes like I said it's very fast absorbing and it also stimulates hair growth. It's very, um, it's a wonderful carrier oil. So whatever you add to it is just going to allow those benefits to seep in to the skin where we want it to, to the quality of the hair. It also cleanses the skin. So that skin on our scalp is gonna get that wonderful cleansing quality. Um, so we do it on our face and our neck as well. It boosts circulation. Notice that these ingredients, like I said, the research that I did was I picked ones that serve our needs after 50, where we need that. We need the circulation. We need the cell regenerativeness. We need the extra moisture. Those, all these things we really need. And then we need those things that work for our scalp to work for our face interchangeably. And so we're getting this entire, uh, Part of the process and then with that massaging we're not only putting on things that help the with the circulation and the blood flow but we're also doing the massage itself which sends a lot that's a lot going on for just one oil right but everything that i will be giving you for you to use is going to have that kind of um wonderful um multi-tiered multi-functional uh purposes for it. 
okay? All right, make your oil, enjoy your oil, use it every day. Please comment, please subscribe, please share, please click the bell notification so you know when the new videos are coming out and there's many, many more things for us to learn together.